Egypt, being kept, held captive by the Egyptians, physically they were delivered. But mentally they were not delivered. Despite all the signs and wonders that God did for them, they were not delivered. That was why they, most of them died in the wilderness. Because their mental attitude was still holding them back to the bondage, to the place of bondage, to the arena of bondage, still taking them backwards. You know, several times they had to accuse Moses, why did you come and deliver us from the land of Egypt? We would have been better off there, at least we were slaves, but we were okay there. We could eat kukumba, we could eat all kinds of things that we wanted to eat. Now you have brought us into the wilderness and you expect us to be happy with you. You should have left us in bondage. That's exactly how so many people are still thinking today. They don't want to be delivered from mental captivity, mental bondage, mental slavery. And you know the irony of this area, of this mental slave slavery, mental captivity, mental bondage. Most people don't even know they are in bondage. Most people don't even know. And why, why don't they know? Some of them were born into it. So they, they have thought and accepted it as a way of life. Oh, well, we are, we are, this is our life. We take our faith like that. That's our destiny. That's uh, the, we, what can we do? How can we? We can't do anything. That's worse. Those are mental slavery, mental captivity. It's worse than physical slavery. And even if you attempt to want to deliver them, they say, no, we are okay as we are. As we are, we are okay. Don't bother yourself. Don't bother yourself. That was exactly what they were saying to Moses. When he went to deliver them physically, but 